They are kind of annoying because you have to actually test them. But um, this one came out of a thrift store mystery box. It did work. And I sold this for $72 free shipping. Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about Mercari. I am a full time reseller. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. In this video, I'm going to talk about mostly hard goods that sold on Mercari. I'm going to tell you where I got it and what I paid for it and what it sold for. And we are going to get started here. Most of these items are probably going to be bread and butter, $35 or less, but there may be some big money mixed in. So let's get started here with the first item. The first item I sold is this Schleich farm animal. It is a ram. It's a sheep. And I sold this for $12 with free shipping. Now, most of these toys that you're going to see are things that I've picked up at the Goodwill bins. I've got it garage sales and bundles. I've got it thrift stores and mystery boxes. I don't pay much for these toys at all. I mean, I'm probably guessing 50 cents or less. So $12 free shipping on this guy. Always look up the Schleich. Some of them can go for big money. This right here is a Puppy Dogs minifigures toys. I believe these came from a garage sale and I think I had a couple bucks in them. Sold these for $18 with free shipping. Brave Cake Toppers minifigure toys. Uh, sold these for $16 free shipping. You're going to see that I sell a lot of toys. I love selling toys. This lot right here, I kind of... Uh, sometimes I get tired of parting out because listing individually is a lot. And I will make toy boxes. And this is an example of a girl's minifigure toy box. And I sold this for $85 with free shipping. So somebody could have bought this for their child. Somebody, A reseller could have bought this to part these items out. Really, I have no idea. But I put a lot of these on um, Mercari. I may be bringing more stuff like this to Whatnot. So make sure you're following me over there. There's a link down in the description. Um, if you're not on Whatnot, definitely check it out. It is a newer platform for me. And I am Bolo Buddies, all one word over there. And if you use my referral link down below, you can get $15 of free money to shop um, if you join with that referral link. And I would love for you guys to come check out one of my shows. All right. This is a Team Umizumi bot figure. Um, if you ever see Team Umizumi, there's two other figures. Um, I can't, uh, what are their names? Millie and, oh, I can't think of the other name, but it's a little blue guy. There's three of them that you want to be on the lookout for. These do really well. They're harder to find. They weren't mass produced. Um, but this is a Team Umizumi bot figure sold for $11 free shipping. Lot of Octonauts figures. I probably undersold these. Um, a lot of times I will like part these out and I'll sell like this eel separately and the vegemals you can sell separately. I sold these for $17 free shipping. I could have made more parting it out for sure. This is a Victoria's Secret pink mini dog that has like this skeleton on it. I don't remember where I got this or what I paid for it, but it was probably a buck or less. And I sold this for $17 free shipping. There was a garage sale I went to that I bought a whole bunch of these dogs from. It may have been that garage sale and I just paid one price for all of them. These are Disney Store Brave Children's Spoon flatware, and I sold these for $16 free shipping. I got these at a garage sale for $1. These are the Mattel, Alvin, and the Chipmunks, the Chipettes, and I believe I got these at a garage sale as well. Probably had a buck or so in them, and I sold these for $22 with free shipping. So if you are a toy seller, definitely consider Mercari. Vintage Fisher Price Little People. I sold these for $14 free shipping. And I believe these came from a garage sale. Now, I will tell you that I will sell vintage and modern toys. I don't care. I just love selling toys. They're super easy to ship. They're super easy to list. And they're small. They're not breakable. So I lean towards toys. 
These are vintage um, 16 McDonald's Barbie toys. Do I recommend picking these up? You know, I've done pretty good. They actually have sold pretty quickly. I can't remember where I got these. Um, there were some repeats and I just listed them all together. I didn't use photo room on this. I should have. I mean, photo room would give it a white background. It would look so much nicer. Um, if you're not using photo room and you're looking for an app to white out your background, I highly recommend it. I use it all the time. Now, this is an older listing. This was posted in 2020 and it took um, two years to sell. So definitely a long tail item, but I probably got this really cheap. Uh, would it have sold quicker if the background was whited out? I don't know, maybe. But um, I do have a referral link down in the description for Photo Room. If you want to check it out with that link, you can get 10% off your yearly subscription. And I think it's either $59.99 for the year or $69.99 for the year. And you can do like 50 photos at a time. It's awesome. And it just whites out the background. This is a lot of 26 Disney minifigures. Again, I took the lazy road and I put them all together. If I parted it out, could I have gotten more? I don't know, probably, maybe, but it would have been a lot more work. And I did pretty good on these. I sold these for $50 with free shipping, but again, took about two years to sell. This is a Schleich dinosaur figurine and it sold for $10 free shipping. Definitely not a big money item, but I probably had like a quarter in it. This is a Shopkins cutie car. If I remember correctly, this came out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold this for $12 free shipping. And it, anything that is retired, new old stock, or just new in the original packaging, I will pick it up. But this was just in a mystery box, I think. Here's a good one. Um, vintage Fisher Price Little People. It's a farm set, but again, very long tail. I am a list it and forget it kind of person, but I have over 7,000 listings. So really, I don't have time to be thinking about has this item sold because I have so much listed. So what I would encourage you to do is just keep listing and not worry about whether or not your item is selling. It will eventually sell. This item was listed on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari and sold fastest on Mercari, but it still took two years to sell. Almost two years. This is a Fisher Price Little People Farm. $53 free shipping on that. The next item is this Peanuts Snoopy Doghouse. I uh, I think that this came from a garage sale. They had a whole bunch of Snoopy items and I picked it up and I sold this for $20 free shipping. Again, a very long tail item. I am okay with long tail items. Doesn't bother me one bit. This is a Lego lot. It's a bunch of mini figure replacements. You guys that sell Legos are probably looking at me like, you should have parted that out. And yes, I probably could have, but I'm guessing the person that bought this probably did just that. Sold this for $55 free shipping. I pick up Legos all the time. Most of these were like weapons and uh, body parts and stuff like that. So uh, this was a nice lot for $55 free shipping. The Clip Clop Horses. I got these at the Goodwill bins. And these are definitely something that you want to be on the lookout for. They're easy to find at garage sales and thrift stores. And they sell relatively quickly. Um, are they a big money bolo? No, not typically. But the more you have and the more you bundle, the higher price you can get. I sold these for $13 with free shipping. This is a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer figures. I believe I got them at a garage sale. I don't remember what I paid for them. Probably $5. And I sold these for $17 free shipping. Three or five, probably. This is a Hello Kitty airblown inflatable. Anytime you can find these inflatables that blow up really big, I always pick them up. They are kind of annoying because you have to actually test them. But um, this one came out of a thrift store mystery box. It did work. And I sold this for $72 free shipping. This here is a vintage Disney Robin Hood figure to uh, toy fox. I This might have come out of a mystery box from auctions for you. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but I bought a mystery toy box from her YouTube channel and I had a ton of small toys like this. And I think I parted this one out because of that. Another good thing to put in the title would be cake topper, which I did not do. This sold for $10 with free shipping. So definitely just a bread and butter bolo. This is Disney Moana Pua pig plastic toy figure. And I sold this for $11 free shipping. 
These are probably items that many of you would just walk right past. And are they big money items? No, but they all add up and they're so easy to list and ship. These are Bratz MGA cake toppers, three minifigures, sold these for $13 free shipping. This is a Star Wars Titanium Series vehicle. How on earth did I figure that out? I used Google Lens because I had no clue what this was. And Google Lens is a free app that you guys can use. I do have a video that shows how to use it, but definitely download that app and use it. You can use it when you're in the thrift store, you're trying to look something up at a garage sale. It is fantastic and it's free. $17 free shipping on this item. This one is a big money bolo. This is Minnie Mouse Boutique Dress Up and Go. I think I got this on Facebook Marketplace um, and a huge toy lot that I got. And I decided to bundle this and I sold this for $100 with free shipping. This next item is this Octonauts Turtle. So you remember when I showed you the Octonauts earlier and I said, typically I will part these out. That's what I should have done there because I sold this one turtle for $12 free shipping. These are Angry Bird minifigures. I believe these came out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold these for $18 free shipping. And here are some more. Uh, these all came together and I sorted them and separated them by style. You can see here, these are a little different shape and these are more figures. These sold for 22 free shipping. This is a Tamagotchi figure. It's a toy friend dream. Um, they also make, uh, I think, little unicorns that do pretty well. But I sold this one figure for $14 free shipping. These right here are the Rico mixed lot of 30 mini pennant flags. These came from a garage sale. I can't remember what I paid for them, probably five bucks or less. Sold these for $34 with free shipping. This is a Paw Patrol rider ATV vehicle and figure. I feel like the Paw Patrol does pretty good on Mercari. Um, Paw Patrol can be more of a long tail item, but I also price more on the higher side of things. I sold this one for $20 free shipping. I sold this one for $22 free shipping. This is the Sea Patrol. So if you take Google Lens, you can look these figures up and figure out which set they go to. Anytime you can find the Sea Patrol, those go for a little more. So if it's shaped like a boat, definitely consider picking it up. This sold for $17 free shipping. This one is the Transforming Sea Patrol. This is for Rocky. This one's harder to find, sold for $25 free shipping. And this is the Rubble Vehicle. Again, another Sea Patrol item. So I was very, very fortunate to run into all the Sea Patrol. I believe these came from a garage sale. This one sold for $24 free shipping. This is a Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood Prince toy. He is a replacement figure for a play set, and I sold him for $12 free shipping. This one right here came out of a mystery toy box that I purchased from Auctions for You, and I sold this for $11 free shipping. It's a vintage Fairy Winkles Kenner figure toy, and it is teeny tiny. The next item is this LOL doll mismatch lot incomplete. This is definitely a great item for Mercari. I don't know why I feel like it would do best on Mercari, but these are just miscellaneous parts. You can see some of the heads are just there. They don't have bodies, there's shoes, there's just different things. And I sold this for $23 free shipping. This is a vintage pillowcase and this took forever to sell. Um, I actually relisted the item, and once I relisted it, it sold pretty quickly. Um, not pretty quickly, but quicker, <laughs> because it had been listed for probably four or five years, it feels like. So it sold within a year once I relisted it. And I don't remember where I got it. I think at a garage sale, and I'm guessing I paid about a dollar for it. This was one of my earlier listings, and back earlier, I did charge shipping on Mercari. That was something I changed later to free shipping on my Mercari's, on my Mercari's, on, uh, on my Mercari items. So this sold for $18, but the buyer did pay shipping on that. It's a vintage one pillowcase, sweet dream satin pillowcase. Super cool. Now I will pick up clothing that is kids clothing at garage sales. If I can get them super cheap for like 50 cents or a quarter, if they're Disney, if they're things like that with characters, because these items will sell on Poshmark and Mercari. 
Uh, this one was a Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse. So sold this for $13 free shipping. Here's another one, Disney Store, Winnie the Pooh. I was still taking pictures on my carpet when I listed this. So this has been listed for a really long time. I relisted it and it sold pretty quickly. So there is something to say about relisting stale items. But for me, finding the time to do it is really difficult. So I usually don't do it. Um, but I'm trying. So Disney Store Pooh Bear bodysuit, six months. Um, especially like on eBay. I have so many items that have been listed for three years that I really need to end the listings and hit sell similar and just uh, get those items looking fresh and new. So uh, that's on my 2023 to-do list. <laughs> this is a vintage current Halloween sucker holder. I got this at a garage sale with a ton of Halloween items. What you do is you put sucker um, suckers inside these. I think I should have used the word lollipop instead of sucker. These may have sold quicker, but I sold this for $23 free shipping. This is a four strand snowflake necklace. This may have come out of a Donatella Bottolino, um, jewelry box. I cannot remember either that or a garage sale. Sold this for $12 free shipping. This one right here is a PJ mask monkey goo pet monkey, mystery mountain figure, toy, kids toy. I used Google Lens to figure this one out. I sold this for $12 with free shipping. This next item is Dragon Tales, lot of three books. I picked these up at a thrift store, uh, I think a buck for all of them. And I sold these for $25. I know um, free shipping and I shipped them media mail. I know that Dragon Tales is collectible. So I did know that these would sell. This is a vintage dollhouse miniature kitchen, and I picked this up at an estate sale with a whole bunch of dollhouse furniture. This sold for $51 free shipping. This is a Netgear ProSafe 8 port. I have no idea what it is, but it was at the thrift store and it was new old stock, so I just went ahead and grabbed it. I think I paid $5 for it and I sold it for $27 free shipping. This is a Scentsy Buddy Homer the Husky. He's a retired plush and he had his scent pack. I got him at a garage sale for a dollar and I sold him for $25 free shipping. These are 11 Fisher Price little people figures. They took forever to sell. This was another item that had been listed for a very, very long time. And once I relisted it, it sold within a month. So um, $17 and the buyer paid shipping on that. This is an R slash M Thompson Christmas paper mache Santa. This came out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold this for $75 free shipping. This is a vintage 1995 Spawn Cosmic Angela Todd McFarlane deluxe edition action figure. I purchased a lot of toys from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel and it was a selling event. And she was offering up toys that had boxes that were damaged, but they were vintage toys. And I'm like, I definitely want that. I have a video and unboxing that tells you how I listed everything and all of that good stuff. I don't remember if it was a hundred dollar box, a hundred and fifty dollar box. Um, I think it was a hundred and fifty dollar box, but it was packed full. If you want to see everything I got in that box, definitely go check out that video. Actually, I think it was a hundred dollar box and I told her to make it 150 and she added stuff to it. So um, I do have an unboxing of that. I sold this one figure for $20 free shipping. I took it out of the box and then I kept the little uh, insert here for the photo. This is a elves dragon instruction manual. This is a manual only. So I went to the Goodwill bins and I think this was during a challenge with dad planet and I bought tons of instruction manuals and I really had high hopes for them and I bought a ton and I can't remember if I got book price or if I paid the $1.89 a pound but uh I thought they were going to do better than they have but this one manual probably paid for all of them this one sold for $20 free shipping it's a thicker manual it's for the Elvis series so of course any of the harder to find sets the manuals are going to go for more a lot of the manuals I got they're just bread and butter, but this one was pretty good. Do they sell? Yes. Are they long tail? Absolutely. 
This is a porcelain stone necklace earring set that I got from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube auction. I think it was in a dibble box, which is basically a reseller mystery box. And I sold this for $30 free shipping. I pick up Thomas the Train all the time. Um, this is 10 piece total. These are mega blocks. So there's 10 pieces when you break them all down. It looks like this. And it's two of them. And I sold these for $25 free shipping. Can you believe it? Two trains. The next item is this Disney Pixar's Cars Fillmore Diecast Volkswagen Hippie Love Van from 2016. New old stock. I don't remember where I got this one. Probably a garage sale. And I sold it for $17 free shipping. The next item also came out of a dibble box that I bought from Donatella Bottolino. It was the same one that I talked about earlier, the other coach tag that I had. This one sold for $22 plus shipping. I'm sorry, free shipping. This is just a hang tag for a purse, but it is a bigger one. It's a three inch one. Silver Suki jeans. I don't know if you guys have heard of these, but um, if I can get these cheap enough, I will pick them up. But this has been listed for a while, about two years. I really don't do clothing anymore. But for those of you that do, I sold these on um, Mercari for $35 with free shipping. I don't know what the going rate is right now on um, eBay for these. But they did have the flap pocket, which makes them, I think they go for a little more. If they're embellished, they'll go for a little more. So definitely be on the lookout for that brand. This here sat in my money pile and when I was reorganizing my money pile, I was like, I'm just going to sell this because I'm just going to lot it up and sell it as a lot because I'm sick of looking at it. They are RC vehicle accessories. And I'm guessing a reseller probably bought this and somebody is probably going to part this out and make a ton of money. Somebody that knows what these are because uh, some of these parts can do really well. I have no clue about this stuff. So I just lotted it up. I sold it for $60 free shipping. All right, you guys, what did you think about my Mercari sales? Um, if you're not on Mercari, there is a link down below. If you would like to join to sell on Mercari, you can get $10 to shop and then an additional $20 to shop once you sell $100 worth of stuff. So I highly recommend getting your eyes on, no, not getting your eyes, getting other eyes on your items by listing on multiple platforms. Again, I start on eBay and I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. I use list perfectly. There's a demo video down in the description if you want to check it out. I'm a visual person. I want to see how it works before I decide if I'm going to try it. So I have put it into a demo tutorial style video for you. And you guys can check that out. If it interests you, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. Definitely go watch that video if you are only selling on one platform because it is so easy to cross post. I've been using it since 2019 and I love it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Leave me a comment down in the description and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.